What's good? What's good? And welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jack. So just a little quick update for Polygon. We had some pretty massive swings over the last 24 hours. Um, I'm going hiking today up on a mountain in, in here in Cape Town. I'm going to fly my drone and I'm going to take my camera and make some sick uh, video footage for Instagram Reels. So make sure to follow me on IG. Um, so Polygon is currently sitting at $1.13. We're sitting uh, down about 2.25% on the day. Ethereum sold off a little bit. Um, we're seeing a market cap of 7.27 billion. 24 hour volume is 762 million. The volume is continuing to increase, guys, which is bullish. That's a very good sign. If you're new to crypto.com, make sure to sign up through my referral and receive $25 in crypto just for signing up. So I wanted to start here on the daily. I had made you guys aware of that huge bull pennant. So what happened here is we broke out and we came back and we back tested as resistance, which is a, actually a strong sign. To see us come back, back test it as resistance and continue to trend upwards here is very, very strong. Now, if we were to see a larger sell off with Ethereum, we might have a bit of a fake out where we come back down for Matic, maybe to around that 92 cent range here. Um, previous swing high around 91, 92 cents. If Ethereum were to correct harder, um, then it would invalidate this structure here. So do keep an eye on that. It's beautiful to see a back test. We're holding the EMAs on the daily absolutely beautifully. We're almost seeing the bullish cross. Um, but as I've been saying, we are overextended with Ethereum. So we're on here on the four hour chart for Matic. So we came up to test the dollar 15. We broke through a little bit. We hit it as resistance and then Ethereum sold off and we came all the way down to a dollar two. Why I go over Ethereum with Polygon is because they're like brother and sister. You know, they they move very closely together like twins. So that's why I go over both. Um, but I'm gonna try to stick to mostly Polygon for these videos. Because I had one video where I talked mostly about Ethereum. Like, I didn't come here for Ethereum. Oh, where's Polygon? Had those keyboard warriors who are sitting there with their dunkaroos just talking shit. All right, guys. So $1.15, of course, is your level of resistance. And then that major, major level at $1.23 that I covered in yesterday's video. And $1.71. But if we quickly look at Ethereum here on the daily... Guys, we're overextended. <laughs> we're quite overextended. If we keep pumping, the correction is gonna be so, so hard. Look at us here on the RSI, on the daily. So we need to correct. We need to come down to those levels of support that I've been talking about here in previous videos. Um, yeah, right here. So we have 2955, which is exactly where we came down to. And then 2771. Uh, would be beautiful opportunities to bounce and continue on this bull run or maybe we'll see some consolidation would be healthy to see some consolidation as well allow the emas to catch back up to the candles but if we do see a harder correction i would expect us to find support at 2771 all right guys and then you may see matic come down to um that 92 that previous swing high around 90 92 to 94 cents but matic it's looking really really strong so uh, $1 is such a major level of support for us too. Let's get, actually give some future price targets for Matic. Um, I haven't done that recently. If this is our true bottom, we'll go to the daily. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope the pets are healthy. Hope you have a special someone in your life. And if you don't, enjoy being single because it's absolutely fantastic. You can date whoever you want. <laughs> oh yes, it's pretty good. All right, guys. So we'll give some future price targets here based off the Fibonacci, so the 1.272. If this is our true bottom, which um, about 99.935% sure it is, we have the 1.272 at $4.05 and the 1.618 at $4.74, about $4.75. And uh, from the current price, I've been absolutely juicy gain of about 500% for Polygon. Oh, I got a little bit of a kink in my back. Ladies, I need a massage. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I'm going hiking. I'm going to fly my drone. I'm going to make some sick footage for an Instagram reel. So check me out on Instagram, uh, check out the, oh my God, I was gonna do a huge shout out to the Discord, hang tight guys. I was gonna do a big shout out to the Discord. So here's the Discord guys. We have open chat, we have over a thousand members. These guys are talking all things crypto. We have juicy crypto chat. So if, you want, if you're new to crypto, if you're advanced, if you're, if you're a beginner, if you're medium, if you're expert, this, this, this Discord community is absolutely beautiful guys. We have open chat, juicy crypto chat to talk all things crypto. Me and other members are posting chart patterns. These can help you stay ahead of the game on trades, breakouts, when to enter trades, breakout targets, all that kind of stuff. 
can help you stay ahead of the game on your trades all right guys and we have popular uh, coins we have rooms for all our popular coins ada anchor btd tron wink dent hot we have polygon as well um, which is a popular room they're asking me here really looking forward to this polygon update so far i've been too chicken to trade the dips so if you could suggest where may be a good target that would be legend i'm thinking it may be a dollar 24 but would like your opinion on that so he's asking me i think he's asking me if a dollar 24 is a good time to take profits yes it is and if we get above it and we back to as support it's also a good time to enter all right guys not financial advice i'm not your financial advisor i'm just a young guy from canada in africa all right all right guys i'll see you in the next video peace peace take care much love